Well, it really is all go this week, isn't it? <laughs> right, something happened last night, <laughs> which I've yet to publicise because I'm waiting to see if it's, uh, well, shall we say, come to fruition. But I, d I don't want to put anyone off saying something that they shouldn't <laughs> in public. So um, that's enough of that. Right. Um, I was looking at the what do they know dot com site again, which I do occasionally. Um, I'll just, you know, something will remind me of it or something like that. So I'll, I'll go and have a look because, it, as I've mentioned before, what do they know dot com, um, and it actually sends you emails when you get responses or when you don't get responses. So that I really don't bother with it once I've put the question in, you know, because um, that's there. They've got twenty day, twenty working days to answer it or whatever, and uh, the site tells you, you know, gives you updates. But I do glance at it occasionally, and I do run down a list of requests I've made. And interestingly, I think it was the two, I was looking at it this morning, um, the two trading the questions about trading licenses. One, you know, firstly, do you have the proof you can charge for trading licenses? <laughs> Which, of course, HDC do not. Um, and another one, which I, I can't remember the actual question, um, probably what have you done with all the stolen money or something. <laughs> um, but they've both been flagged up as spam. <laughs> and by this, I mean, when you send an email off of this site, it comes through to the recipient as they think it's a normal email. Now, they can go on the whatdotheyknow.com site and they can see it there and realise that you've, you've sent it from there. But when it comes into their email box, it, it just looks like a normal email. For example, my address is paul.dakers at ntlworld.com and that's how it will show up. They've marked it as spam. Because <laughs> I just went on this morning to give them a gentle nudge, a little reminder, and I couldn't send the message. Because it's been marked as spam. <laughs> um, so that, again, being banned from all council offices, uh, not allowed to phone my council, um, now I can't email them. <laughs> I tell you what, Joanne Lancaster, head of HDC, it's um, it's this is quite amazing, really. It's uh, I think it's I think it's um, Adolf Lancaster, isn't it, or Joanne Hitler? Big smile, big smile. <laughs> I can't contact my local council. I'm very sad about this. I might sue them for hurt feelings or something. I don't know. <laughs> but. But they still want their council tax. I'm still supposed to... I can't speak to them. Can't ask them anything. Can't get any help off them. Can't get the truth out of them. <laughs> but they still want their council tax. Yep, got to pay the council tax. Even though you're not allowed to contact them. Well, here's a quick puzzler for you, Joanne Lancaster. Albeit that council tax payments through internet banking would not come from my personal email address. What exactly is internet banking? Is it not electronic mail? So really, really, you've just shot yourself in a fucking foot, haven't you? Because you've destroyed your last possible argument that I can actually pay council tax because you mark my electronic mail as spam and therefore you're clearly unwilling to accept my council tax payments, aren't you? Because that's electronic mail. <laughs> Big smile. See you later. There's plenty more coming up. <laughs>